feedback to students electronically is we could start to leverage the power of peer discussion as far as the use of that assignment or the use of those feedback, the use of that feedback. So what I'll do is I'm going to uh, push out a page to you, you guys again. Sorry, this will take me a minute to get there. Actually, Peter, while you do that, you want to just, I, 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 that's fine. What I wondered if, if I might put up the uh, just the uh, evaluation sheet while you do that on the main page, because we might have some yep. people who uh, might need to leave now, if that's okay. Like, we'll continue the discussion, but if it's all right with you, do you mind if I put that up now? No, no, that sounds fantastic. Okay, everyone, so on your main uh, window page, you should now have a questionnaire which has come up, which is just a simple evaluation sheet for this. Uh, so for those of you who, uh, who have to head off, uh, if you wouldn't mind just taking a minute to fill that out before you go, we'd really appreciate that. So I'm not trying to stop the conversation. We'll obviously continue on. And uh, Peter is opening up another another window and we'll continue to do that, but I'll just leave this one up on this window if that's all right with everyone. essential that people fill out that questionnaire survey that Jeff has put up. That's incredibly useful to uh, this product as well. Uh, to, not this product, but uh, uh, Jeff's ALTC uh, uh, project. The page that I've pushed out to you is the page where um, there's some comments about academic writing. And what I would say is that we could start to include links within the comments that are going back to students and if the student clicks on that link they will get some more information about that comment and there will be a chance for them to engage in a discussion about that comment or you know how to get around that and the major advantage that that will have is that that will allow the marker or the grader to actually see how many students uh, following up on a particular piece of uh, feedback. It's starting to close the loop. There's a lot more things that I could have talked about, but it's perhaps best to, to do the rest as a discussion after you filled out Jeff's uh, 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 survey. We've, sorry, just on the survey, because uh, people might make some comments uh, about who it's, like it, it's meant to be catering for everyone. So if, you know, if you're an academic yourself and you actually would be using something like this, that's fine. If you're a su uh, support or learning designer or something like that, fill that out uh, from that perspective as well. Um, you can also fill it out from the perspective of how you go about using it uh, in any development program as well if you're a, if you're a developer. I noticed that some people are saying that they, they need to go now. One of the things I like to do at the end of the uh, sessions like this is to get everyone to open up their microphone and give each other a little bit of a group hurrah for coming along uh, at this time. Um, so if we could just get everyone to do that, it'll be a little bit of a calephony, but... Um, if everyone could do that, I think we would all appreciate it. 
So okay, you want three chances or do you want to do it? Okay. Hurrah. 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 Okay, Jeff, I'll pass it over to you to uh, uh, conclude the session. And I will stay in the room for uh, uh, probably uh, 10 or 20 minutes. So feel free to stay in the session um, as long as you want. Okay, Peter, thank you very much for that session. I think everyone found that really interesting. Um, and uh, certainly I think you're probably going to get quite a few emails uh, about trialling the, uh, trialing the product. So we really appreciate your time and uh, your expertise on this. Uh, thanks for sharing things you've done. Uh, thanks for letting us know about the uh, Moodle site you've got too because you've got some really interesting things up on that Moodle site about feedback uh, as well. So um, we'll certainly be following up with you about that. Uh, if there's any references that uh, people want to give us about e-marking, uh, we can put those on the Transforming Assessment website because one of the things we're trying to do is collect um, examples of not only the products like uh, Peter has put up on, on his Moodle site, uh, but also any scholarly uh, papers that you think are particularly good in this context, and we'll put those up on our Transforming Assessment website. Okay, thank you very much everyone for coming along. Um, um, uh, as I said, I will be staying around for about 20 minutes uh, before uh, my tummy grumbles too much and I have to go home. And uh, yeah, keep on uh, uh, coming along obviously to the uh, Transforming Assessment Project. There's a lot of really great stuff there. Okay, thanks everyone, and uh, for those of you who have to go, bye, and we'll see you in the next session. Just go to the Transforming Assessment website to see what our next um, our next topic will be, uh, and in fact, the rest of them for, for this year we've got quite a few on. Uh, also, one of the things that we're uh, quite happy to discuss with people is if you've got some suggestions, um, either people you know who'd be really good at, uh, at giving us a um, session in the Transforming Assessment webinar series, we're always open to that. Um, and uh, if you've got any suggestions for people that we might like, that we think we should contact about this as well. So thanks for that. And as Peter said, he'll still be around to so continue the conversation. Archive recording has been stopped. Archive is being saved. Okay, James, you've got your hand up. How can I help you? James, I can see that your control key was held down, but I'm going to hear you. The archive is now complete. Uh, my question was, um, do you, in, your, in your own mind, do you believe that e-marking uh, provides you far more, um, that it's a lot faster basically than the old method? Absolutely. Um, but that's partially because I've created the tool to fit in with exactly the way I work. Um, also, I'm a reasonably uh, uh, fast typer. Uh, typists. So from my point of view, there's no comparison between uh, the uh, the amount, the quantity or the quality of the marking as well as the quantity of the marking. I'm a fairly, uh, fairly assiduous in insect as far as what happens with my marking. So I will tend to put more, um, give people more feedback um, when I'm doing it electronically rather than taking the savings and running um, myself. Um, and the, the anecdotal feedback that I got from students was that they appreciated the, uh, the additional uh, quality of the comments because I can make sure that the comments weren't just saying what the problems were, but were talking about why that might be a problem uh, suggesting a way of getting around it or a way of uh, addressing it and also presenting a question to the student.
how are you going to address this in your next assignment? Or I'm looking forward to seeing how you ad address this in your next assignment. 